In this video I'm going to show you how you can run random parceling for your SEM or your CFA model. For structural equation model or confirmatory factor analysis, in many cases it can be a good idea to use item parceling, that is to combine different items into one parcel and then build the measurement models on the level of the parcels and not of the items. For the van there is a function in the SEM tools package called parcel allocation. And this function does two things. It produces a number of different random parcel allocations and for all those different allocations it runs the model. Later on we will use 100 different parceling solutions and for each of those different parceling solutions this function will run the full SEM model. This will be our example, possibly the simplest SEM model you can think of, a simple regression but based on latent constructs. We have an independent variable and a dependent variable and for each of those two variables we have a measurement model with six indicator variables. This would be the model without parcels. If instead we want to use three parcels for each latent construct, this would be our model. And this R function will more or less automatically produce those parcels and then estimate this model. For this we need the Levant package and the SEMTools package. Here the data, six indicator variables for the independent variable and six indicator variables for the dependent variable. For our function we need two different model definitions. We need one model definition based on the parcels, that is this one. So we have three parcels for each latent construct and we need a second model definition that we would have used without parceling because this will tell the program which indicator variables to assign to which parcel. Here is the parcel allocation function. First we have the model definition for the model using parcels. Then the data frame. Then the number of parceling allocations we want to have. I would use at least a hundred. Then we need to list the names of the parcels we are using. After that the model definition without parcels with the item syntax parameter and the last parameter fun that stands for function. In this case it's an SEM model so I use SEM. If you use parceling for CFA you would put in CFA instead. Now we run this. It takes a little time because now the program is running this model 100 times with 100 different parcel allocations. The result has three parts. The estimates, the standard errors and the fit indices. As you probably know we are not allowed to interpret any estimates unless we have a sufficiently good model fit. So first we look down here to the model fit, to the chi-square value and to the fit indices. Let's start with the chi-square, that is with the model test. Average, that's the average chi-square value for those 100 times this model was estimated. This is a standard deviation of the chi-square for those 100 estimations. Minimum and maximum and the range and here percent sig, the percentage of significant results. So in 8% of our 100 model estimates the chi-square for the model was significant. Or to put it differently, in 92% of those random solutions we didn't get a significant chi-square, which is very good actually. Then to the fit indices, CFI on average 0.998, that should be higher than 0.95, so it's a very good value as well. And here the other fit indices, TLI, RMSEA, SRMR, really good values. So model fit is okay, we can now interpret the results. To the estimates, here are the loadings and the error variances for the different parcels. Those are not that interesting because in each random parceling assignment different indicators go into a specific parcel number. Of primary interest for us is the structural path in our model from the independent variable to the dependent variable, that's here. Average, this is the average path coefficient, it's standard deviation and here minimum and maximum for our path coefficient. The range and again person significance, 100% of results were significant. So in each of our 100 different parcel allocations we got a significant effect from the independent variable to the dependent variable. And here would be the average of the standard error for this effect. There are additional parameters you can use. One would be to change the alpha 
because we want to know the percentage of significant results and by default significance will be calculated on the basis of an alpha error of 5%. If you want to change that you can do this with the alpha parameter. And you can use in addition to those parameters other Levan estimation parameters. For instance you could request robust standard errors by using the parameter SE equals robust. Now you have the necessary information to run a random parceling. There are additional informations you can extract from this function, but in most cases that's not strictly necessary. You could extract the parcels from this function without running the SEM analysis. For instance, if you only want to use this function for parceling and then run your SEM or CFA in a different software outside of R, for that you would use the parameter do fit equals false. And then you would get a list where you have your indicator values and at the end of the list the values for the parcels. And you could extract details from the estimation. For that you would use the parameter return fit equals true. With this you get a huge amount of information. Most of it is extremely technical, but there are some interesting things you can extract with using this return fit equals true. If you want to look at the resulting parameter estimates for a specific parceling scheme, you can do this by accessing the par table list, in this example for the parceling number 45 for instance, and here you would get the estimates for the parameters. Our structural coefficient was the seventh estimate in the list, so this here would be the estimate for the structural coefficient in parceling number 45. And you could do the same with the fit indices by using the fun list parameter. And here we get the chi-square and the fit indices for this specific parceling allocation. If you want to know more about parceling in general and about other parceling techniques, I've made a video about that too. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.